This is Corey. Corey B. Corey is an AO2. These are Corey's colleagues. Corey and his colleagues have their pay and conditions set by the Core Enterprise Bargaining Agreement. But this isn't the only document that sets their pay and conditions. It builds on their safety net, the Queensland Public Service Award. The Public Service Award is set by the Queensland Industrial Relations Commission, and it gets reviewed every year by the State Wage Case, which provides pay rises that keep pace with cost of living. Workers under the Core EB aren't the only ones governed by the Public Service Award. Transport and main roads workers are as well. But as you can see, their EB pay is considerably higher because of the history of their negotiations. EBs are negotiated between workers and their employer, the Queensland Government. The Government also provides percentage pay rises to keep up with cost of living. But core workers were unlucky enough to have to negotiate under the Campbell Newman Government meaning that they missed out on almost 18 months of EB pay rises. Meanwhile, the award rates continued to rise. This year, your award rates went up substantially, by 3.5%, leaving all core EB workers with EB rates under the award. Luckily, this isn't allowed under industrial laws, so the Industrial Relations Commission put everyone up onto the award. As part of enterprise bargaining that's happening right now, the government has the perfect opportunity to do something about this. But here's what they want to do. As you can see, if you're up the higher end of the pay scale, this has made a bit of a difference. But if you're a lower paid worker, it's not helping you out at all. But also, is it fair that out of two groups of workers, on the exact same award, one gets paid significantly more than the other? And is it fair to leave low-paid workers all out to sea? Union members are standing up to say it's not fair. If you agree, you need to say, 0%? No way.